what's going on guys james collects here and as you can see there's been a bit more growth in uh bulbasaur's garden the uh the bit of moss that i put down in the corner has completely died out um which has indicated to me the rest of the plants are not going to survive um because they are english plants that are used to to be honest being out there in the cold without the humidity so i'm going to rebuild Bulbasaur's garden into this um, again from Tesco's four quid I believe uh, it's a, a lot squarer which is one of the reasons why I chose it I've could have got the same design but I thought I would um, go for something else and uh, go for a square design I've got some washed stones from my front garden I've got some rinsed coal from a bag of coal and some soil from a little bit deeper in a plant pot so I've not gone for the surface stuff this time we have gone a little bit deeper so I'm going to start off with to be honest I don't know coal I suppose coal is to mainly prevent a build up of smell so uh, it also helps with other things I'll be honest I've got absolutely no idea I don't do this professionally I just enjoy doing it right so we've got some coal in there as a, a nice base layer like a drainage layer the idea is also that the uh, soil doesn't get sodden now I am also going to go for a Squirtle build as well. Um, I think I know how I'm going to do it. So fingers crossed it does work out okay. It should do, I don't see why not. All I did to rinse the stones and the um, coal out, literally just ran it under hot water. Um, I used a sieve, yes I'll be washing it up before the other half gets back because no doubt she will absolutely destroy me if she found out. Right so that should be more than enough of a drainage layer so we we'll get rid of the coal and stones. Next up is the soil and I want a nice thick layer of soil so I'm just going to drop a load in doesn't all get caught on the handles which it has and that's do for now just going to pad it out a little bit so we've got a bit of a gap might go for a little bit more And if anything, I'm hoping I have an old aquarium stone somewhere that I might be able to squeeze in to give it a, a little bit of character, which fingers crossed I have next to me. Right, no stone. Um, they are all far, far, far too big. So we're going to be relying solely on plants for character which will make life interesting. Um, I've got some plant cuttings from my terrarium where my dart frogs live. Um, so fingers crossed this will be enough. And obviously, obviously, that was very perish, obviously um, they're gonna be more used to humidity than what the English plants are. Um, so all I'm gonna do, fingers crossed, is we're gonna go for this bad boy in the center. So I'm just gonna dig out a little bit of a hole and just place that in there then we will dig in another hole and fingers crossed I should hopefully be able to, um, to place this inside I'm hoping because these plants are a lot more uh, used to humidity, although we've had quite a bit of growth in the 
the first one. Um, I've learned some lessons already. Ooh. I am sh shaking like a leaf, excuse the pun. Let's go put this last bit in. It might be easier with hands actually this bit. Now fingers crossed in a couple of days all the plant life will take. Um, I am waiting for a Bulbasaur figurine to come. Um, so if that doesn't come in, I mean, uh, sooner rather than later, I'll probably put the old Bulbasaur in there. Um, but he is a bit beaten up. Um, and I kind of want to keep him in that one just to see how it goes for now. Um, made a nice mess on my desk. Um, so all I'm going to do is um, give it a few squirts of water. Um, I'll add in some spring tails, um, keep it sealed, um, and then fingers crossed um, I'll be able to give you guys an update in about a month's time or so. So yeah, fingers crossed this one goes uh, a little bit smoother than the last. That is it from me guys. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Good gaming and happy collecting. Adios.